For those of you who are taking academic and creative writing, this week we're going to have a review of figurative language. I think the best way to prepare for this review, which will be in the form of an online survey, basically an online uh, questionnaire, where you're going to be given examples of different types of figurative language. And from a drop down menu, you will select one of these types of figurative language. Okay, so I would again begin with this page looking at the different types of figurative language, going into each one of these to find examples. And of course, as you're reviewing and becoming more familiar with the different types of figurative language, begin including these some of these examples in your own writing. As we're writing this week, focusing on tankas and senkanes. Last week we figured we worked on limericks. Some of you, in fact, all of us are also continuing to improve our limericks. One way that you can improve your limerick and all of your poetry is to include a lot of figurative language. Since this is a focus on creative writing, uh, then we need to try to find examples of um, a figurative language. And again, I think this is a good starting point. And uh, these are the examples of figurative language that I'm going to be drawing from uh, when developing the review. Okay, so again, begin with this page, go into each one of these to find some examples. Of course, you can do just a search on the different types of figurative language throughout the web to find uh, even more examples. But again, begin with this list. This will give, um, give you a, a list of different examples of figurative language and a good source to draw from when preparing for the review.